you go, Simon. Let me go. Just begin loosening the body off and just use any direction. So up, down, left, right, side, side. Just kind of mix them in. Just really try and loosen the spine and the whole body, loosening the whole joint. Okay, good. We'll start nice deep breaths in, stretch and rise up. And as you come out, breathing out, nice big extension along the spine, all the way to the ground. And then start to curl back up, all the way up, nice and slow, all the way through the spine. One more time. Okay, just loosen the body off, rotating. Keep the arms relaxing. Stretching over to the side. Either way. Again. Nice and loose, just circling around the whole body. Reverse the direction. Okay, good. Just start with the head, just chin to chest. And then looking up. Okay, to the left. And to the right. Over to the side. And then the other side. It's like just a little bit of pressure with the opposite hand. Side. Press from the back and just push into the hands. 
two, four. And from the front, pushing back, again pushing right into the hands. Release it. Just circling the front. And then nice and easy on the back. Shoulders, okay, tighten up and just bring the shoulders up as high as you can. And release everything. Tighten fists right up. One more time. Release. And then start to circle them back. Nice big circle. Try and work with a real full range of motion. So forwards up, back and down. And forward. And just alternating one at a time. Open out the hand, nice big circle. Side to the side. And then just one side working with a figure eight low, all the way to the back. Just circle around with the hip. Side. You should roll them both together. You can do this like this. You can roll them kind of alternate. Just play with both. Good. Okay, just keeping the hips fixed. Just roll through the torso. So try and really create some movement. The whole torso, rib cage, chest, into the shoulder blades as well. Try and really move the whole body. Big circles with the head. Rotating with the elbow, holding just a little bit. The other side. And then extend out through the hands. Hold it a little bit longer. Near the side. Okay, to the knee, just circling. <clears throat> Pressing back, straightening the leg. And then bending the knee. Hello! 
Sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> they just had to go to school again. <laughs> Can I circle in the knees like this? Up, and down, open them up. Do this nice and slow. Forward, to the side, rolling back, and then change the direction. So come forward. Good. Okay, just for the ankles, keep the contact with the ground and just roll through the ball of the foot. And then off the ground, just roll the ankle in circles. And then point through the toes, extend right out. Press the ball of the foot out, raising the toes, and the whole foot from the heel, press it down. Okay, and then change side, roll through the ankle. Get off the ground. Both directions. Point the toes out and the ball. And then the heel. Okay, just put one foot forward, keeping the back heel on the ground. And with both feet on parallel lines, stretch right forward, bending the knee to increase the stretch. Change. Change. Sides again, and then raise the heel off the ground. Stretch now into the hip. Stretch right into the back hip. Change. The other side again. In this case, bring the knee down and then start to arc over the front, uh, the back end. And really open out this whole area of the body, especially the hip. And nice and slowly change. Stretch down, bend the knee down. And start to Spiral over with the hand. Good. Okay, just side to side, nice and gentle. Straightening and bending. Side. So as far as you can, keep them both feet on the ground. And just hold it. Change. All the way down, raising the toe. Change side. Both feet pointing forward, nice and wide. Straighten the backs of the knee. And bring the hands onto the same line. Nice and easy to walk the hands forward. So you really into the fingertips up. Press through the fingertips and push the hips back in. 
straight right through the shoulder, the length and the spine. And from here, just raise one hand up, stretch right up and twist the whole torso. Right up. And then the other side. Okay, one more time. This side. And again. Okay, just walking the hands back. Let's see if you can get the elbows into the ground all the way down and relax the head into the elbow. And really lengthen now the lower back right into the ground. And very slowly back up. Just a little bit for the shoulders up. Stretching the arm right across the body and using the other to pull right to the side. Change sides. And up over the top. Pull the arm right across the back. Okay. Bring the fingers together, stretch right up through the shoulder blade. And to the front. And pressing the palms together, just roll through the strength. Trying to keep the palms as much in contact. Just make, separate the contact, start to work more the fingers. Okay, onto the wrist or the Nikio. And change sides. And just got the eye sheet. And change. Turn the Nikyo, this time the thumb on top. Change. And onto the fingers, stretching right up into the elbow. Change. And this one for Shihonagi, so wrapping the whole arm up, taking the hand, stretch the whole side of the body. And change. Yeah. 
the last one, just for the fingers, pressing the fingers, extend them right out and really fast, fast as you can. And then closing into fists, and again, nice and flat. Shake your hands out. Down, down. Shake it in circles. Shake the legs. <clears throat> and then let's go to the whole body. Good. Okay, take a joke. So, okay, nice and easy, just starting with these rotations. So just keep the shoulder down and keep the elbow down too. And just we try and generate the movement in the forearm, keeping a nice grip with the lower fingers. Really full a rotation as you can. A nice heavy elbow, nice and stable. And change side. And then alternating the grip, changing from below. So. Okay, extending out through the elbow. Now really allow the hip to start to come into the movement. Keep the structure nice and balanced. So nice and easy. And change in size. Any time alternating the group. Keep the hips generating the move. And just one hand, nice big figure eight. <clears throat> and really now unlocking the movement of the hip. The hip really roll through. Change in side. Alternating the grip, each side.
Okay, just back to one side. In this case, you're going to have the Joe in this position. So kind of tucked into the armpit and release it. Let it come all the way through. And so you rotate back into, into this position. So it's onto the forearm. Really allow the jug full range of motion with the wrist. Keeping the grip the same, so nothing really changes with the grip. Just loosen through the whole move. So it's into the armpit and then onto the forearm. Give me a big rotation. And keeping the shoulder nice and low. Quite close to the body as you do it. Release it out. And then onto the other side, to the armpit, and then all the way through. Good. Okay, now using the shoulder. Uh, using the elbow, so you come over this way. This arm takes underneath, and then you roll through this way. So over the back, onto the elbow, and then taken underneath. As you come through, try and get one nice clean arc all the way up and all the way back. And this is the same move, you're just going to now change at the wrist. So rather than take to the elbow, just allow the jaw to come to the wrist and then change here underneath this way. So it just comes over to the side, just changing underneath the wrist. This way. And then all the way over to the back. So coming right to the spine and then releasing it here. All the way to the back. Keeping your nice and close to the body. Good. And then choosing a little bit of movement, just <clears throat> work through all of them. So if you like, just moving the body, keep the jaw in motion, and just see if you can transition between different ways of moving the jaw. Just keep, keep the body moving, the feet moving. Just let the jaw go.
Okay, good. So we'll just go real basic ski. So just start on the left side. Just come forward, thrust through, and back. Take it nice and slow. Really find the position just at the back, and then coming forward. Going back, and coming forward. Nice, big, arcing movement with the arms. Really stable at the end of the thrust. And then the same just over on the right side, the right foot forward, that's the resting through. Again, nice and solid, big clear movements. And just freely move between left side and right side. So do a few on the left and a few on the right, just as you like. Michael, yeah. At, at which height do you normally aim this? At the solar plexus? Yeah, or this is this, regular ski. Yeah, for the basic, this is this is just solar plexus. Yeah, like like a Chudan ski. So, yeah. like the height, uh, yeah. not 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 super, ugh, not low, not high, just right in the middle. Yeah, and then so, there's the yeah, horizontal or yeah, yeah kind of horizontal. Pretty, just 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 above. It's like just above. Yeah. Like, I'm basically in this case I'm aiming for my for my own. So I'm I'm kind of aim I use yeah. I use my own as a kind of guide, so it's a little bit in, in my case yeah. a little bit off off the horizontal, but yeah. That's just just that kind of work. And then that's use the basis and then you basically adapt to the Yeah, the, you, I, you can yeah, adjust exactly, yeah. So for the for the basic ski it's kind of right for the solar plexus, yeah. Good. Nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, and then each time change between the left and the right, and you can do this two ways. You can do this way, coming in like a zengo, so coming to the back, this way. Or you can also experiment with just changing to the front, coming to here, this way. So coming here, and then just changing everything, hands through, and then coming through to the back. And really, in this case, allow the movement to really come right to the back. So you're really just straight away into the ski come on, into the ski, thrusting through. So you can either come back, back or just roll right through to the front. So change freely, but each time left side, right side, and then change. Just explore these two. That's it. Okay.
all. Bye. Bye. See you later, guys. See you soon. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna go into Shido now. So come forward like this and then back like this. And then you've got the way we usually turn, which is just to come back like again like a Zengo. So come in forward, back, and then this way. But you can also experiment with a different way of turning from here, keeping the right hand on the Joe and just shift the whole body around this way. You got this, this, and then you just keep the Joe on, shift the whole body onto it. This way, this way, this way. Shift the whole body this way. So just play with different ways of turning with the Joe. And both the right hand stays on, or I roll the way through it, all the way through it. And just play with left side, right side, coming back, and then keeping that side. Okay, we'll play another combination. In this case, you can only do this on the left side into the right. So you go here, thrust through, higher gaishi on the right side, and then thrust back on the left side. And then from here, just roll back into the position. And you start again on the left side. So it's a ski here, higher gaishi on the right side, and then thrusting right to the back here. And then let you find this position back. So to the back now, it's a ski, higher gaishi, ushiro ski and then rolling all the way back. And then back.
Okay, we'll do a combination. You can do left side, right side. So, after the left side, she says, get engaged. So, thrust through, roll back, strike in. And now from here, come straight up with another ski here. And then roll back to here. So, you come onto the right side. So, thrust, roll back, so get engaged. And then come right back up to a thrust here. And then roll in back in this way. So, it goes one, two, three. Four. Roll back. One, two, three, four. Going back this way. Give it a try. Good. And then one slight variation on this, coming back, coming through to here. And this is the one we're using the 13, so coming forward, blocking, and then thrusting through. And you can also do this on both sides. So thrust through, roll back, come forward, block, and then press through. So this move nice and slow. So <clears throat> coming through, back, roll the body through with the jump, press through, and then rolling back. Nice, heavy, deep movement through here. Okay, and then real slow, just kind of combine all these movements together. So do it freely. So working with thrusting, Hayagaishi movements, Shiro, Gerangaiki, high speed, roll, and just really play with each of them. Keep the body nice and balanced, nice clear movements. So keep the transitions really stable in the strikes. Just play freely with the movement.
And just in this case, really work on this feeling of, of, of stillness into movement. So in this case, where the basics is, is really the basic training, static training is really good for this sense of really being in a stable position, perfectly still, and then just coming straight into movement. So just really work on finding this position, which really allows you to just move to the next part. Just move. Just move. Just move. So really, in this case, the, the basic looks quite kind of robotic, but in this case, really allow it, use it for, to really find a position where you can just move into the next movement. Just go. Just go. So really look for this state where you're, you're really calm, really solid, grounded, and just gives you the ability to move. And that's really what you're looking for when you, when you train the basics like this. So just play with this idea. Really big, solid movements. <clears throat> Yeah, that's, that's, that's super. Good. And just kind of open the movements out and give you a few more possibilities. Just work now with a hasso. So we're going to train it from from uh, right side to skeet position. So we usually do from from kenkamai. In this case, from a, from a skeet position. In this case, change the feet and this is like a block to the back, all the way to the back, and then flowing through here into this position. So we'll just train this nice and easy. So you should roll back, block, feed the hands through the jaw, and roll through the stuff. Starting in ski kamai, draw back, and then press up here for that. So let's try this right side. I saw that she moved. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, good. Nice, nice. Uh, 
Okay, good. And then starting the left side kamai for the for ski kamai. In this case, the, the movement's a little bit different. The same start coming back, locking down. Now here, the right hand is the one that moves. So the right hand comes down, and then you flow up here. And the thumbs point down at the end. So starting the left side, locking back. Now the right hand moves and to the end of the job as well. And again, finding the hasso move. So roll back, and then roll back up the foot. Roll back, roll back up. Let me give it a try. A little bit different. Good. And then the last hassle variation is the is the basic one we'll do. Is it's from right side. Tenkamai, just from here and just flowing right through it. This way, all the way up. In this case, and just here, roll the whole body back. Keep this one nice and fluid. Rolling back. And then to go back to the previous movement, so with, you were working with the thrust, hayagai shi, gerangai shi, all these kind of moves. And now just introduce these hasso variations. So just play with them. Just roll through them. Keep it nice and, again, keep it real basic. Just start to play with these hasso movements as well. Any movement you like. Bring in the hassle. And the last minute, so just lessen the power and just make it a little bit more fluid now. So really focusing on the body work, hip work. 
Let's allow the jaw to flow through. So keep it nice and heavy in the body, nice and light in the jaw. Just play with any movement you like. Nice and relaxed. Great, very good. Okay, we'll stop there. Let's do more. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimashita.